go in peace from St. Paul, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let no one have contempt for your youth, but set an example for those who believe in speech, conduct, love, faith, and purity. Do not neglect the gift you have. Word of the Lord. Let us pray in the Holy Psalms. He has sent deliverance to his people. He has ratified his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. How great are the works of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Prudent are all who live by it. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the Holy Gospel in Luke we heard, Now there was a sinful woman in the city who learned that he was at table in the house of the Pharisee, bringing an alabaster flask of ointment. She stood behind him at his feet, weeping, and began to bathe his feet with her tears. Then she wiped them with her hair, kissed them, and anointed them with the ointment. When the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he said to himself, If this man were a prophet, he would know who and what sort of woman this is who is touching him, that she is a sinner. Pause. Last night we discussed this very story in the RCIA class for adults, those who desire the sacraments and to learn about the church. They'd never heard of this story. And it is one that we have to learn because we're learning about our Lord, mercy. The Pharisee asked why a sinner was kissing his feet. He wondered why God didn't tell her to go away. I went on to tell many testimonies of how God's mercy works. And for that, let us go to our Lord. Continue. Jesus said to him in reply, Simon, I have something to say to you. Tell me, te teacher, tell me, he said. Two people were in debt to a certain creditor. One owed 500 days wages and the other owed 50. Since they were unable to repay the debt, he forgave it for both. Which of them will love him more? Simon said in reply, The one, I suppose, whose larger debt was forgiven. He said to him, You have judged rightly. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, Do you see this woman? When I entered your house, you did not give me water for my feet but she has bathed them with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You did not give me a kiss, but she has not ceased kissing my feet since the time I entered. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she anointed my feet with ointment. So I tell you, her many sins have been forgiven. Hence, she has shown great love. But the one to whom little is forgiven, loves little. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I went on to tell the students, the students last night that what I want us all to realize is that the church is made up of saints and sinners. And some fully repented sinners are some of the best saints. I told them that I work with some repented sinners, scarred by drugs, abuse, and so forth, and I worked side by side with them, with my repented self. What happened? We were forgiven, and we are grateful. Gratitude makes all the difference. The prostitute or sinful woman kissing the feet of Christ was literally pouring out her life to Him. The perfume was perhaps her living investment, her income, her livelihood, her lifestyle. 
and she was emptying it all out onto his feet and dripping out onto the floor. As Judas, the betrayer, soon realizes and calls it a waste. Like the parents who see a child deciding to waste their lives by becoming a religious priest or a nun. Our Lord ends the Holy Gospel. He said to her, Your sins are forgiven. The others at the table said to themselves, Who is this who even forgives sins? But he said to the woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And I went on to say that for the one who received the miracle, like the sinner today, she left with a peace that nobody could take away. Think grace. Think holy sacraments. Think living a daily holy life. Think Christ forever. At the sight of the miracle, some will not be amazed. Others may be a little amused. And a few will fall on their knees and worship and adore Christ for who he is. Let's pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, thank you. I am truly amazed and I am humbled. You provide in ways that we may never know. You are gracious and merciful. I pray that I can be like that sinful woman at your feet, honoring you, blessing you, and asking for true repentance and mercy. I want to greatly thank you, and I want that peace that you offer. Help us, Lord. Amen. From your brother in Christ, Adrian, at goingforth.com. Today's random Bible verse generator, John 15. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. Amen.